that kernel of tenderness. In his Source Energy Medicine modality, Stephen Pollitt observes that any persistent unwanted condition, disease, or discomfort is caused by, quote, high resistance, end quote, and, quote, low allowance, end quote. See his book, Heal Thyself. In other words, the condition is resistant to allowing the energy of source to come in and resolve it. This resolving source energy is always immediately available to everyone who allows it, but our past desires and choices that have become subconscious can block this energy and subsequently prove to the ego that nothing works to resolve the discomfort, disease, or unwanted condition. The subconscious resistances became subconscious when we decided to automatically block any energy from changing the protective force around the resistance. An off-on switch of sorts. Turn on protection if change is imminent, for example. Thus, any attempt to change the resistance, such as nutritional supplements, body work, herbs, elixirs, or other healing modalities, are thwarted at the outset by this protection switch, hence the term high resistance. How high resistance is transformed into high allowance becomes the overarching question. The answer is repetition over time. Because our subconscious protective strategies are automatic, they switch to resistance on with any attempt to change or turn off the switch. The transforming energy is allowance on, that with constant repetition over time, replaces or transforms the resistance switch to its opposite. In Pollitt's Source Energy Medicine, this is accomplished with drinking programmed water. In my own experience and observation, healing is ultimately changing our resistance to allowance, and this resistance resides at the core of the ego our cherished yet arbitrary set of judgments, conclusions, choices, and memes we've decided is who we are. The ego protects the entirety of this, but at the chewy center of it all is the fear of non-existence. At some point, we decided there was an existential threat to our very being, requiring a resistance strategy to prevent us from being snuffed out. We installed all manner of defensive capabilities, Denial, deception, misdirection, disguise, propaganda, and pretenses of all kinds to fend off this supposed existential threat. I call this cherished core our kernel of tenderness. It is the innermost place within our being we have designated as the most vulnerable to being hurt, injured, or destroyed. The resistance strategies then click into place and the full resources of our lives are invested in keeping those strategies in place and active. I believe this is at the crux of negative gene expression leading to disease, aging, and death. Ironically, we literally go down with the ship to protect our kernel of tenderness from harm. This is the consequence of low allowance to source, that when fully and freely allowed to act on all aspects of our being, heals, rejuvenates, and preserves the entirety of our lives on all levels. Of course, outside the ego, at our exact core, is the indestructible and immutable source point of consciousness participating in the game of experience, much like a wave is an expression of the ocean. This core of being is our direct portal to source and is indistinguishable from source. It is you being the universe. The universe is created by our feeling of being and is reflected back to us as experience. Thus, experiencing being is at the core of our purpose. Some have claimed that learning is a reason for experience, but an all-knowing immutable consciousness would have nothing to learn. It's more accurate to say that we choose to forget aspects of experience in order to remember the process of remembering why we experience what we are experiencing and the subsequent reward of remembrance is the ebb and flow game we play with each other. As one of the billions of souls who have bravely waded into this densest time-worn battlefield called Earth, 
we have been participating in one of, if not the, greatest feats of awakening in all of time and space in the multiverse. It is no wonder far-flung universal civilizations, hosts of angelic beings, and amused interdimensional creators are gathered to watch and remember our exploits on Earth, perhaps much like driving by a car accident, or seeing a live birth, or watching a soap opera. Because our experience is their experience, and my experience is at some level your experience. We are all experiencing this tremendous remembrance together, how we conduct our affairs, help one another out of love and compassion, makes this experience high art, worthy of our commitment to awaken. Through this awakening, we begin to see again our connection to all points of consciousness and how we have always been source, thus establishing a kind of symmetry of oneness expressed as a fully conscious universe, utterly connected among all other points freely creating all of experience as one great art form of wondrous beauty, passionate expression, and the perfection of infinite allowance of source for ourselves and all other beings everywhere. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin, brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx, www.pureenergyrx.com.